All right, and we're back. Little technical difficulty, but we are here again. Uh, and uh, I want to get back to uh, sharing. I believe we left off on the stage number six, no confidence in the collapse of money. And uh, we're going to go through this again as a recap. And if, in fact, uh, uh, you heard it, you can hear it again. Uh, this is where inflation and debtness and government uh, deficits increase. The citizens um, um, and citizens realize that fiat currency representing their lifelong labor and savings and wealth is continuously losing value. Poor money management by the government results in a stagnant economy where rising prices and shortages of food and goods and increasing public and personal debt. See, the ongoing devaluation of the fiat currency leads to a lack of confidence by the citizens, which results in runs on the bank. This is where people actually run to the bank and take all their money out or or collapse of a banking system. There's civil and political unrest uh, that, that begin to accelerate and ultimately... Governments default on their promises to pay and economic and societal chaos ensure or, you know, continues to go forth. And that right there shows us where the collapse of money happens. But then in the midst of the dust, in the midst of what's happening, there is a reemergence of a free market and free market money. This is where citizens desire a return to the monetary system that is stable, that is secure, and non-inflationary. They realize that gold and silver is a safe haven for the preservation of wealth and this new cryptocurrency. And it is the only insurance policy against oppressive government and consistent currency debasement. See, demand for gold and silver began to arise, and if, if collapse of the previous civilization was complete, then new societies eventually emerged with barter economies following the evaluation, uh, the evolution, rather, of a free market money. See, those citizens with financial acumen, same thing, that's why we're teaching what we're teaching you now, to help you with the financial acumen, have accumulated precious metals, gold, silver, and as well as cryptocurrency as a key component to their overall assets. And they survive the economic collapse with significant wealth. They become the financial leaders of a new free market money system based on gold, silver, and cryptocurrency. And the citizens of the, as a whole begin to prosper and they flourish and widespread wealth begins again. Of course, in scripture, we know this as uh, the end time transfer of wealth that the scriptures really talks about. And that's what's going to happen. So I want to share with you that it literally pays to understand the history of money in society, in cities, in states, in countries and empires. Because by recognizing the six stages in the life cycle of money and the position of the present day governments within the cycle, citizens can make better informed decisions. They can partition their assets to maximize their wealth and mitigate the effects of currency debasement that will lead to chaos of an economic collapse. And I'm happy to say that we're here to help you do that. We're here to help position you where you're able to make the right decisions for you and your family, that no matter what happens with the economy, that you are protected in those three areas of gold, silver, and cryptocurrency. See, governments have universally debased their currency without the backing of gold or silver for 45 years. When we look at central banks in both worlds, uh, developed and undeveloped countries, they have repeatedly failed or have been bailed out by their governments by the issuance of more and more fiat currency. The net results in increasingly high leverage, negative in interest rates, extraordinary indebtedness, currency devaluation, serial defaults, and economic collapse of countries throughout the world. See, monetary crisis and food and supply shortages, rioting and rebellion, civil wars, uh, an overthrow of oppressive regimes have become what is known as commonplaces. And we have now entered stage six of the life cycle of money with widespread lack of confidence in an entire basket of increasingly worthless fiat currencies. And the question is, when will the inevitable global economic collapse occur? 
We don't know. I would flatly tell you out tell you that no microeconomist, no maven, no medium, no self-appointed prophet, no pundit, no talking head or wizard can even project predict the exact timing of this collapse. But with that said, savvy citizens like you who are tuning in, who are understanding, who we're, who are being educated and empowered, you will have the opportunity to acquire physical gold and silver at 30% Watch this here, uh, under 3% rather, above spot, which is around a 30% discount at its to its historic, historic high, where you can protect your wealth from unholy shenanigans of corrupt and unstable government led by politicians and rulers whose concern is for the preservation of, the, of their power over the ordinary masses. And for these reasons, I urge you, I strongly recommend you, for you to start taking thoughts on where we are in the life cycle of money and positioning you and your family that you can be protected from the coming drama that's going to happen. And I, I encourage you to do this sooner than later. And please understand, remember the golden rule. The golden rule is simply he who owns the gold makes the rules. And today we have the pleasure and the privilege through powerful opportunities where you can build passive wealth in cryptocurrency through mining and you can have gold and silver very affordably. And we're here to help you with that. That's right. For more information, contact us. Reach out to us, adrianlblue.com, or you can email me at bluewealthsolutions at gmail.com. That's bluewealthsolutions at gmail.com. And you know what? We're going to talk more about the life cycle of money. And uh, we got a couple of shows that we plan uh, for special guests to come on and to be a part of this, these discussions. But more importantly, we want you to be informed. Don't take my word for it. Just look at the pattern. That's right. Everything goes in cycles. And if you understand the life cycle of money, then you'll know what you need to be doing now to protect you and your family for what's coming later. This is Dr. Blue thanking you for tuning in on this broadcast. And thank you for being committed to experiencing the better life. Always remember, God created your life, but it's up to you to create the level of your living. Have a great day. Ah!